let us try writing a code to find factorial of a number we may do this particular code multiple times in fact there may be many a times where we'll be repeating the same question in different ways i mean i'll be using while loop to find factorial and then i may use some other way to find factorial and some eight another way to find factorial maybe uh, the same question can be repeated three four five times don't find it repetitive rather we do that to ensure that you are you know the question already but the way we solve it uses different techniques and we tend to teach you the syntax of python by taking the same problem and teaching different syntax of python okay you will come to know what we what i'm saying with as, as as the time progresses all right so let let us find the factorial of a number this is going to be a very easy program i in fact find it very boring but for completeness sake i'm teaching you people because every single programming book has this program and the standard question that people ask in exams and things like that so apart from making it interesting i will also make attempts to um, try to make it boring here and there by using <laughs> standard examples so how do you how do you find the factorial of a number i'll i'll first say print enter a number okay then i'll take the number let that number be int uh, uh, n right you know what this means and then i will say the point is this what is n factorial when n equals 5 n factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 okay i should go up to that point so how do i do that this is actually straight forward using a while loop but first timers this is going to be one um uh, what a heck of a program you will not understand it in the first attempt although i'll make my primal level best to help you understand it but yeah it it requires two to three attempts of uh, re reading it re seeing it re coding it for you to understand what's happening all right so what do we do here i will say i'll start with my answer to be 1 and i will multiply 2 to my answer okay then this becomes answer is initially 1 and answer becomes answer into 2 and then answer equals answer into 3 and then answer equals answer into 4 and answer equals answer into 5 what am i doing initially answer is 1 and answer equals answer into 2 means answer was 1 this becomes 1 into 2 and that becomes answer right now this becomes 2 answer equals answer into 3 so which become, which makes it 2 into 3 which is 6 and then 6 times 4 which is 24 24 times 5 which is 120 at this stage answer will be 120 i'm just using the compiler to as a blackboard <laughs> i am not supposed to write all these things like this uh, in fact i can directly display the answer here i can say print answer it will of course ask for enter a number because 5 answer is 120 in fact if you type 6 what will happen <laughs> type 6 so i'm trying to fool you all it still says 120 it is not giving you the factorial of 6 because you are asking for a number n but you are simply manually computing the factorial of 5 okay this is the way in which you compute the factorial of 5 if you want factorial of 6 then you must say answer equals answer times 6 then 6 and then 720 but the point is i should not be doing this manually every time i want my computer to ask for a number input a number and automatically it should show me the factorial of that number without me intervening and changing the code every time now how do i do that watch carefully what i do is i indeed start with answer equals 1 and i'll put this entire thing inside a while loop while i is less than or equal to n you will in a minute understand what this is i'll say answer equals answer times i which is i was initially 1 
and answer is answer times 1 and then I will say i equals i plus 1. Oh my god, what am I teaching you people? <laughs> if you are seeing this for the first time, you are like programming is not for me. What, what are we doing here? So it is all a matter of time. You will try to understand it. With, uh, with a couple of attempts and you will understand it. So uh, yeah, so just wait for me to finish this. Answer equals answer times i. I say i equals i plus 1 and then I come here and then uh, the while loop clears me provided i is less than or equal to n and answer becomes equals answer times 2 and then again answer times 3 then answer times 4 every time i gets incremented it comes here and then comes and then multiplies that to answer now observe as in the previous example which was very easy as long as this condition is true this will get executed once then if you come back check if the condition is true it will get executed one once more check if the condition is true this will get executed once more and so on okay let me patiently try to understand what's happening here initially i is one okay and then answer is also one and then i check if i is less than or equal to n let's say n i enter as five right i which is 1 is certainly less than or equal to n which is 5 1 is less than or equal to 5 right and hence it comes inside and it checks it, it, it assigns answer equals answer times i which is answer will be 5 times 1 so answer will now become I am sorry answer, answer will is answer times i which is 1 times 1 answer will be 1 so answer will be 1 and then again it comes and i becomes one more which means i becomes two here in this line and then it comes back and checks if i is less than or equal to n i is indeed less than or equal to n isn't it why i which is 2 n which is 5 2 is less than or equal to 5 and it enters this loop okay and then again it does answer equals answer times i so which is answer equals answer which was one times i i used to be one but now it's two one times two then it becomes two right then again comes back and then checks if i is less than or equal to n two is less than or equal to five perfect it comes in once again and then says answer equals answer into i answer is two i would have become 3 because I got incremented so your answer now will be 2 times 3 which is 6 similarly again your, your i becomes 4 and then your answer becomes 6 times 4 which is 24 again your i becomes 1 more i equals 5 and then it comes here 5 is less than or equal to n n is what n is 5 5 is less than or equal to 5 that is true isn't it 5 is indeed less than or equal to 5. Uh, so what are you saying? 5 is equal to 5. Why do you say 5 is less than or equal to 5? By that I mean 5 being less than or equal to 5. Observe the word. It says less than or equal to. It should either be less than or it can be equal to. It cannot be greater. That's all it says. So 5 less than or equal to 5 is indeed true. And it comes inside answer becomes answer times i which is answer equals 24 times 5 which is 120 and then i indeed gets 1 plus it becomes 6 and it comes right now and there you have a problem what's the problem 6 is less than or equal to 5 6 is i n is 5 6 is less than or equal to 5 no that's not true so it exits this while this doesn't execute what is within while it just jumps here and then comes here and then prints the final answer which is answer at that stage will be 120 please note i keeps changing every time you change the value of i the previous value goes away the recent value gets stored okay n remains the same throughout n equals 5 i don't change n answer keeps changing now with this you are able to simulate the very process of 
finding factorial you can simply say uh, why do we do all these things in real life we simply put 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 and there we are we get 120 but why does the computer um, do it this way so this is how you program with the flexibility of while with the flexibility of using variables this is one way in which you can find the factorial okay so again i repeat do not worry if you don't understand in fact all all that i did right now is very very commonsensical just that it takes some time for you to get this common sense all right so now let us try executing this for different values enter a number 5 is 120 enter another number 6 should be how much 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 up to 5 if it's 120 6 factorial should be 6 into 120 720 and there we are and what is 10 factorial it's a big number you see and what is 20 factorial it's a very big number <laughs> it's 20 is a small number but 20 factorial is a very big number uh, you see uh, things can get really um, uh, big very fast all right so yeah factorial is one such function where uh, things get really really big really fast for, for instance um, uh, i'll try to type 50 factorial oh it displays i expected it not to display because <laughs> it's a very big number let me try to type 100 it does display and 200 oh man my computer is really um, fast and efficient so i would i want to fool it i want to try typing bigger and bigger numbers thousand ten thousand maybe one lakh ah now it is stuck it is taking a long time all right so computers are great computers are fast computers are awesome but as you increase the complexity there's a place where they will fail okay now it passed and i'm sure if i type it for let's say a million it will uh, take a few more minutes okay what am i doing i should say enter yeah i should execute this code and then give one million it will take ages uh, by, by ages i mean a few minutes or maybe a few hours also all right okay fine so uh, this is it factorial of a number i think you should practice this while i wait for this code to end <laughs> I, should, I probably should wait for a few hours now or I can always exit this by saying control C you press control C it comes out of the program okay let's go to the next code now